vividly and ask them. To, you know, I notice that people mm. aren't necessarily following the guidelines that you set forth. How do you feel about that? Or is that okay with you? And let them answer. And if they answer by saying, you know what, it's okay. I don't mind people doing it. I think we're all going to be okay. Mm-hmm. Then that's when you can make your decision to say, you know what, I'm just going to wait a little bit of time and then I'm going to slide on out. And the best way mm-hmm. to get out of that moment is to look around and, and once you've made that decision, just go to the host and say, you know, I thought I was going to be able to stay a little bit longer, but I'm going to go ahead and head on out now. This is not the time for you to lecture that person. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't lecture that person and go into detail as to why. Just bow out gracefully and pack your stuff and leave. <laughs> I love it. Great tips, Elaine Swan. I see why you have your own school of etiquette. Those were great takeaways for us. Thanks so much. Great to see you. And when we come back, taking the stress out of the holiday season tips to simplify the holidays. While prepping for the holidays during a pandemic can feel stressful, we have some tips for how to take some of the strain out of that celebration so you can focus on your family and friends. Joining us is Rachel Sylvester. She's the Real Simple Senior Editor. She has some simple, easy ways to keep the stress level low so you can actually enjoy the get-together. Rachel, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So obviously, preparation is key. What are your tips on how we should prepare before the actual day of the party? Before day preparation is so, so crucial to, to maintaining your sanity. So one of my favorite favorite tips is to write out your menu the day before and like don't write it down on your phone write it out on a physical piece of paper tape it up to the fridge and outline all of the meals that are coming into play when they will be served when they need to go into the oven when they need to come out of the oven that way you have kind of a reminder right in front of you and it will keep you on track and kind of keep that stress level to a bare minimum and there's something about pencil and paper my mother-in-law does that and she runs a killer party every year yeah here's another piece of advice that i love you get you say get your guests involved in more than just bringing that bottle of wine what do you mean by that beyond the bottle of wine beyond the homemade hot dish like basically give your guests a role a very specific role so maybe your mother-in-law is in charge of refilling everybody's white wine delegate maybe yeah delegate oh, delegate, delegate maybe your best friend is like the the cookie connoisseur she makes sure everyone has like a holiday cookie in their hand at any given point so any any role that you can give them that ups that sense of socialness and ups the fun and it gives them something to do so they're not standing around feeling awkward like I'm the cookie person I got to do this Absolutely. I love that that's actually really good okay talk about serving the actual food what are ways that we can keep our guests and ourselves safe well, if you're trying to avoid very like high touch food options mm-hmm. like maybe a buffet, go for individual portions. I personally love like an individual dessert board. You can do kind of custom charcuterie boards, maybe individual puddings. Mm. You'll see this in Real Simple yeah. magazine. <laughs> individual desserts. It gets people involved, it gets them excited. And a good a good tip for this is double the amount that you make. Mm. So if you have six guests, make twelve because like I'm not just gonna eat one of these. Uh, yeah, you want to have make it feel that. ample. Yes. Okay, definitely. I like that. And then the last tip is really kind of a social anxiety. You know, you might be getting an invite and you want to go to this gathering. You haven't been out to a big holiday gathering in a while, but you're feeling kind of nervous about it. How do you work through that anxiety? That is a a justified reaction. I think you just have to be transparent with, with the host and reach out to them and say, Hey, do you, do you want me to get tested beforehand? Do you want to know my vaccination status? What can I bring? How can I help? So those are kind of the, the easy questions to ask ahead of time. Be proactive. Very much so. I love it. Rachel Sylvester with Real Simple. Thank you so much for these great tips. For more, we have uh, uh, a lot more for you on today.com slash holiday handbook for Rachel's tips and everything else you've seen, plus other extra hacks. That is all that we have the time for today, but cheers to a safe and fun social season. Join us again in two weeks for another another edition of Consumer Confidential. I'm Vicki Wynn.